Hi! Great that you're back to watch Heroes of Baldur's Gate, The Black Net. I'm Myri from Orkenspatter TV and I'm going to be the GM in the taped session you're about to see. And usually I'd be live in this bit, but I'm not today because right now I should be in Perth, Australia and looking at cute animals on the island of Rottnest. Google Quokka and you love them. Anyways, while I am Quokka petting, um, this past version of me is going to tell you a bit about the session we are going to see. Last time we had the spider dungeon where the people showed just how happy they are to set everything on fire. <laughs> Although people are going to claim that it wasn't intentional, but yes, they did what parties usually do at least once in their adventuring career. And that is burn a lot of maybe slightly innocent creatures to death. We're not going to dwell on that for long. We are going to go to the next big setting piece of the adventure. I've mentioned it a few times before in these intros and outros. We um, have changed things around a bit, or rather I have changed things around a bit. Everyone else is innocent. Um, in the adventure module as it is in Heroes of Baldur's Gate by James Olin, it is actually meant to be more open and you can find the different dungeon sites at different times in the adventure. You can also decide to just not go there and then you have to deal with the consequences of not taking care of uh, this one part of the problem for the city. And yeah, for, for this we I streamlined it and sometimes I'm not the players to go to the next place as it is planned because these are produced sessions for an actual play. Uh, we're playing to be entertaining and we're also playing to kind of stay in the guidelines of how much time and how many sessions we have to do this. So yeah, this is still the very much um, abbreviated version of Heroes of Baldur's Gate. Even yeah, shrunk down a lot more than the city part was in the beginning of the module. So for this time around, um, you're going to see, I think, the biggest single piece of, of dungeon stuff I've built for this module. And it's supposed to be a druid outpost. And it was supposed to be a giant oak with lots of platforms and stuff. I couldn't build an actual miniature giant oak tree. What I could do with... I, I, too much trouble with the materials and um, abilities I have is stump, a tree stump. Still of a giant oak and still with all the things uh, you need to find and you need to interact with, but it's no longer a living tree. So sorry drew it, I cut it off. Um, still it was a very fun set to build and I could break out a lot of stuff I hadn't worked with for quite some time, like wood laths, um, and working with materials I hadn't worked with for quite some time. So yes, <laughs> it was very lovely to, to go back to stuff I did a few years back and learned quite some time ago. Um, pro tip, be prepared <laughs> if, you, if you plan to do this and take care that, you, um, that you're always working in a safe environment and surroundings. Um, yes, that's all I'm going to say about that. Well, um, you're also going to see how people deal with the setup I present them, which is not exactly use it as intended, but uh, place their characters and their miniatures anywhere where they could kind of just wedge them into <laughs> the setting. So there's going to be a lot of balancing of miniatures and wondering whether this is actually going to work physically to place them there. So the set has the added bonus of being kind of a miniature playground, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm going to also have a short outro where I'm going to talk a little bit about the changes I made after, the, after you've seen the changes at work. So you're not going to get spoiled much more than there's going to be in Tree Stump, a giant one, before you watch the session. So, well, thank you for to everyone at Arcanum Worlds who produced the module for the DMs Guild. 
because they allowed us to use their lovely art assets for this actual play. Thanks to everyone at Wizards who made this possible and offered us this slot to produce our own little show. Thank you to my players and everyone who supports Orkenspalter TV. And thank you to Beamdog who hold the rights to the Baldur's Gate games and allowed us to use the music and the assets that you're going to see. <laughs> and also to Scott Buckley, who did a lovely remix of the Baldur's Gate main theme, which we used. Those are all very generous and great people who allowed us to use their assets and everything they worked and did for this um, for free, just because they decided that it was a nice idea to make this happen. So. See you in one and a half hour, or oh, roughly, yeah, around that. See you in not close to two hours. officially uh, number five, session number five of our actual play of Heroes of Baldur's Gate, an adventure for Dungeons and Dragons 5e from the DMs Guild. And it's set in between the Baldur's Gate computer games. So in the past, seen from, from today's D&D. And we left our little group of adventurers looming over Viconia the Drow, who's mostly dead, lying on the ground and mourning her dryder brother. And... Oh. deep burning in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some, some, somewhere in the background, quite a bit away, because you tried to not get set on fire yourselves, there's a cloud of smoke slowly gathering above the trees. And there's an acrid smell. The acrid smell of evildoers burning. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Julia. <laughs> Julia is playing a paladin of Helm. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> yes. Gwyn, she's young, she's half elf. She's uh, very, very good at doing good. And you, you've had a, you have a small list of good deeds and bad deeds, so you can see. Yes, I'm, I'm, tell I'm keeping yes. a tally. Save the child. <laughs> Then Burnt Riders alive. Okay, <laughs> I have to write does that, that go in, does that go on the good list or the naughty list? Mm. Mm. Well, they're evil creatures. That is technically true. And she's yes. very idealistic. <laughs> now, Alan Crook Willow is less of an obvious do-gooder. He doesn't have any lists. No. But, yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a thieves guild kind of uh, enforcer who's been brought into this mess to try and sort out the Zentarum influence. Um, I don't think he thought he would end up here. <laughs> but I think he's... Well, he was enjoying himself, but then the spiders kind of really put him on edge and he really doesn't like this drow woman. I think as he pointed out, <laughs> complete hypocrite. And that he can't <laughs> abide. <laughs> you, you can't deal with her species and, because she only mourns she yeah. drow or similar creatures like Dryders. Yeah, that doesn't care also, about the other humanoids. Drunk. She drunk. kept calling him small. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just like too. saying, oh, you've got pointy ears. And just stating <laughs> the obvious. So Max is playing Alan Crook Willow, yes. who is on, it says Bard, but he's not. Master of disguise. <laughs> then Eric is playing one of the characters from the Baldur's Gate games, which is uh, possible with the adventure. 
Um, if you play it as it is, as it's written, there are going to be NPCs, but it's also, they also have a list how you can substitute them when you actually want them as PCs, and yeah, you can just do it. Do and it. you can also take the adventure and play it nowadays in Borders Gate, and then there's also a list how you change yeah. that around. And some of the NPCs are still going to be around because they're elves oh, and right, dwarves. Yeah. <sighs> so um, <laughs> it's actually quite, quite, quite funny looking at how the adventure changes when you when you pick the NPCs as PCs or if you change the timeline. And did you mention where you can get this adventure? And you can get the adventure on the DM's Guild. Yes, I mentioned. And oh, it's sorry. From, from... You can mention it again. Yes, I can mention it again. It's where from the DM's Guild. Can you get it? At the DM's <laughs> Guild. And it's by James Olin, who also wrote uh, for Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. So he knows uh, what he's He designed doing. He designed Baldur's, Baldur's, Gate Baldur's, Gate Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. So he knows, uh, he knows the characters. And I think the idea of the adventure uh, is also to kind of find out what they did in between uh, one and two, and um, some of them are also maybe disappeared in between. <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> we're not going going into every um, in, in, into every story of every NPC and PC, but at least some of them we can see again, like Viconia, who's still lying on the ground, and Nico is also playing one of yeah. the the companions from Baldur's Gate, and you're playing. I'm playing Khalid. Yes, everybody's favorite half elven fighter. <laughs> Yes. Husband. <laughs> Everyone's favorite husband. <laughs> Jahira's husband. Yeah. Good. Viconia is still you you bound her and she's lying on the ground. She was about to say something. Yes. yes. So what are you going to do with me now? Oh, it's this again, isn't it? Well we haven't decided yet. It depends on what you tell us and how healthy you are. How about oh, dear, that? He's doing that thing again. <laughs> so are you you are looking for Tsar, right? Yes. We need to know where he is. I do not know. I only know that he's below the ground. Below the ground? Yes. Yes. In mines hidden in the forest. I mean, we already knew that. That's not exactly new information. That is true. However, we're not precisely sure of the direction currently, I assume. It's I a assume. very big forest here. Yes. He... I know that he found things down there in the mines. And he bartered them, sent them to what people things? he hoped they would help him. What things, items, weapons? A huge slab of stone with a druidic inscription. I did not care for it, but there are people here who thought it might help them. Something about a portal, I think. Portal? Well, that doesn't mm. sound good. I sort of digest this information for a moment. Take a quick look at these two. I mean, I look at Viconia again, I'm like, is there anyone else that you've recently had contact with that had anything to do with these people? <laughs> because so far, they've only brought nothing but trouble. Now, now, I think that was just a coincidence. It's a very big coincidence, if you ask me. Well, you might know the person who's whipping up the forest into a frenzy, marching against the city. Oh yes, there were those drones. Oh, there was, yeah. yeah. And who's that then? Her name is Faldorn. Someone you know? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah. Was it another one of those weird people that you're... Leader picked up and discarded. I think we should not we should not admit to that in front of those two. <laughs> Inside just check. Pointing it out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. Inside check. Do they know? Maybe, maybe Khalid's time yeah, or the but... team didn't overlap with Fadon's time. Maybe he was left behind somewhere. <laughs> you vaguely remember um, a harsh barbaric woman who didn't and, and there was a problem with yeah, her era. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No, this. Yeah, yeah the, it's the other druid woman that Jahira loathes. Ah. <laughs> oh, her. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not entirely sure who filed on this. We have a very interesting marriage. I have a very interesting idea of party mechanics. <laughs> of what? <laughs> You know, how one celebrates things, or who... Right. who <laughs> party <laughs> party ah, mechanics. Of course. Or who, or who you choose to hang around with. I see. Very odd. Right. Are you just going to leave me here, bound 
to well, be eaten by the creatures of the forest. Speaking of creatures of the forest. In sunlight. I mean, it's a bit shady here. <laughs> Where would we find this Faldorn then? Are you in league with her as well? We do not speak. I do not care for her. I know that she and her druids have found a place to the west of the forest. And they have a lair there. I think there was, there was something going on. My spiders told me last night that they might have found a nice bauble that they were going to sacrifice to achieve something. And she's in, in league with uh, this Zara person. That we maybe know, I maybe do, not. I, I, am, I do not think she understands that she's working for him. But he she, gave but her a gift and she's about to use it. And it's going to sow chaos and confusion and destroy the city. And I think that he likes. But that's his goal, well, destroy Baldur's Gate? He says it's his destiny. Oh, no. So he's, oh, knowing the guy. So he's right. just mad? Or does he have... Sub agenda. Do you know something about him? I mean, he says there's something in his blood that's about to awaken. And he technically doesn't need to rule over living people. Well, it sounds to me that this is he a necromancer. Yes. Okay. Didn't know that about him. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be but so? But you're calm? not a wizard, so I don't fault yeah. you for not knowing that. How can be so calm about this. She just said she's going to use some kind of portal bauble thingy and just going to destroy, destroy the city. Destroy a terrible city that I hate. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, yeah, let's prevent it, but it's still. <laughs> oh well, that's I fine mean, then, isn't it? The city is going to I fall. Do sure you there. like Baldur's Gate? I'm do you shocked. like the people there? That, 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 I find some of them quite charming. That's completely besides the point. <laughs> it's not the point. The city is going to fall at some point anyway yes but, but if it, we can prevent it from falling now yes and if it doesn't and if it does fall now then i'm out of a job no oh, okay okay yes, i mean at least <laughs> you say that we can oh poor thing hey shush you right i say we take care of these because we met those dryads before didn't they but yes yeah, it would it feel you, like if your home was destroyed and i just your put my hand over her mouth <laughs> <laughs> she bites Okay. <laughs> One hit point. <laughs> we can be at this all day. <laughs> I mean, well, yes, we should. We should go to this. I stuff my harmonica into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, oh no! Why do you have a harmonica? Because I'm a bard. <laughs> That's your instrument. Yeah. And you want her to 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 <laughs> multi-class or what? <laughs> of course, that's his instrument. I mean, yes, I. Oh, yes, it's me, Alan Crookwell, okay. the master thief. Let me just carry around my bassoon, <laughs> my lyre, my so, harp. Yes, Shall you we were just, trying to say. Do, do, do we need Biconia? Can you can you point us the right way to this uh, I mean, Faldorn person? She said it's but, west of the forest. Okay. I think we can find a way. Right. Is, is there something, like, just generally, people who know this area, which technically includes me, is mm -hmm. there something sort of landmarky west of the forest? Or are we just going to go west well, of the forest and see? The forest <laughs> basically goes up to the cliffs. Mm -hmm. So she says, in the west of the forest. Oh, in the but, west of the forest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we, we just could kind make of... her write a letter. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was actually thinking. <laughs> right. I don't, I think, right, to be honest, you shouldn't have had anything to do with this anyway. Young lady. I've no idea if you're young, but I'm calling you that. <laughs> For a draw, my <laughs> I mean, she looks young. Right. Yes, but I can't tell her age. You might be annoyed at this, but I think she shouldn't have had anything to do with this, to do with this whole business anyway. So if, if you can write us a letter to this um, Zara fellow... Faldor in person? No, not not uh, not Faldor. Oh, we know where Faldor is. She's, she, 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 Faldor, she, she, is in the west of the forest. We can find that quite easily. Okay. But where this Zar is is a bit more difficult. I didn't so. know if you can find Zar that way. He has magical wards. Yeah. How yeah. do you send a letter to him then? 
Because how do you speak with a harmonica in your mouth? I'm. <laughs> she spit it out. I'm, okay. I'm she made it out for the moment. That Monteron sent a letter this way to Tsar as well. Oh, you so know that it must work. Are you sure he sent one to Tsar? No. <laughs> well. Tsar speaks to us if he wants to. Hmm. I see. Well, where is that? Did cave you then? get the letter before we appeared? No. Hmm. Maybe it was the letter to Faldon. She then. did get a letter when. Oh, it's Faldon. Just yeah, before. As you appeared. Yeah. She did get one as. We, well, yeah. <laughs> we brought the letter. <laughs> he delivered it personally. Okay. Um, On a string. <sighs> On a shoestring budget. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay. Uh, then. She can write us a letter anyway and see if it works. And we keep it between heavy books. Exactly. Right. Okay. And then we let it go when we need it to. Okay. Sure. I mean that's fine, but you said I wouldn't going. I wasn't going to like this plan. You want to let her go. Well, what else do you propose we do with her? Do you think they want to deal with this at Baldur's Gate? I don't think so. She go back to her own people and then can deal with her. She's so concerned about them. But she said she's an outcast. Yes, well, that's her own bloody fault, isn't it? Well, uh, what I mean is, is she can't go back. That means she's going to stay here and going to do that all over again. Well, not with the Zantarum, she isn't. And not with the Divider. I mean, it's not our problem where she goes. Exactly. Do, do you know somebody where we could send her? She was just out of her way. Maybe in the south. I mean, we cannot just let her go. I mean, we we're did just let, going to go and kill more people. We did let Kagan go. So, I mean, they can team up or something. <laughs> yeah, so not a good idea. Especially if you all know each other. Yes, that's I still find very disquieting. Right. We could take her back to Baldur's Gate. Right, do we have time? What time? We can't take her into How Baldur's Gate. How long did it take to get from the city to the forest? It's around midday. Yeah, so we don't. We haven't got time. We've got to deal with bigger things. One drow woman, big tree army attacking the city. Yes. She's right now wisely keeping quiet. Yeah. Just her eyes flicking back and forth between you. Mm -hmm. Slightly welling with tears against the light. Well then. Uh... I mean, if it makes you feel better, you can kill her. Well, I'm going to draw my sword and go up to her and hold my sword up to her neck and basically I'm going to summon all the courage I have been instilled with by the teachings of the Paladins of Helm and basically say, you know... Are you moving the sword? Like no, 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 I'm just, no, that's just my <laughs> I'm holding up the sword to her neck. I'm just going to say, you know, no matter if the forest is going to go and destroy the city or we're going to destroy Faldon and whatever she's going to send against the city, I reckon you don't want to be in the middle of it. And I reckon you just want to go back to some kind of hidey hole and stay out of our business. The spider's way is to wait and see. Well then wait and see somewhere else. I want to be intimidating. <laughs> Intimidate her. I want to try. Basically make sure she just stays away, doesn't bother us. Oh, that's a 10. I guess I'm not very intimidating. She smiles slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Clear? I understand. Very well. I will make the deal with you, Slayer Woman. <laughs> the deal would be to stay out of our way? <laughs> yes, we shall not cross paths again. Mm, I can handle that, yes. Good. Oh, she's my sword. Well, I will just wait for you to die. Yes, that is fine. Won't we all someday? <laughs> I'm still a half elf, so. <laughs> right. Well, if you're quite done, <laughs> yeah. staring at each other. <laughs> I will untie her because it's my rope. Yes, after all. <laughs> it's my she rope. She slowly staggers to her feet and then limps away. Stopping just for a moment, looking back over her shoulder. Her, <laughs> her long white hair matted with blood. But you should watch out. There could always be a poisonous spider somewhere. Yeah, we watch our backs. Then she disappears between the trees. I pick up my harmonica. <laughs> Was any of us poisoned? <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> I mean... 
Are we all, are we all feel... good? Is nobody slowly dying of poison here? I got the. Vibe. We are all slowly dying of the <laughs> same poison here. <laughs> okay, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> <clears throat> she uh, she nearly had me there for a moment. You did very well, that girl. Really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, now come on, we've got, we've got a load of angry trees to deal with. Okay, very well. Should I maybe not set them on fire this time? That would be an idea. I mean, it depends. I mean, I mean, the fire thing did actually kind of work out for us a bit. So, I mean, I mean we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Let's go, come on. I hate to be that person, but there is not just evil angry spiders in the forest. And if we burn down all the forests... I'm not proposing. I know, his wife. <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> rather personally. We're not gonna burn down the whole forest. Okay. Rather personally. I'm just saying, fire is very handy no, against personally. things made of wood. Not that personally. <laughs> I know Don't it's worry. <laughs> Meaningful look. You know that she hates. <laughs> you know that she hates everyone equally except for you. So. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just gone. <laughs> They're bantering. Yes. I'm leading the way. I'll follow. Which way are you going? West. To the west of the forest. But um, maybe we should... Question. Uh, Can question? we take a short rest before we do Yes. Yes. Because I need you absolutely can. Kneeling. All right. I guess, I guess... The forest is burning in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> can so we get away from the burning and just rest for a bit? I know where Jahira is at the moment. Um, she said that she was c taking care of some things with a forest with Dinah here. Okay. Maybe we'll so find maybe her. Maybe we we'll should run into her again. Yeah, we could bring her along. I mean, if it if we encounter ev evil druids. <laughs> sure. Yeah. If you know where mm -hmm. she is. Yeah. That's, that was my question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I know where she is? You don't know exactly where she is now. Okay. Somewhere. Yeah. In the forest. Okay. We should also hope that she doesn't find out we did this. <laughs> Burning forest in the background. I mean, I still maintain that is not our fault. Yeah, it's Gwyn's fault. It's a strong forest. Is, It'll withstand a little brush fire and it will only destroy the evil spiders. And the, the wicked trees and the strong trees will prevail. Yes, yeah. exactly. You've got That's it. It's exactly. very neutral of you. Again. <laughs> I am not neutral. <laughs> but you behave. Maybe you I will be one day. <laughs> yes. Maybe. Maybe you feel your magic waning right now. <laughs> Heaven is a neutral god, though. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm lawful good, but I'm, I'm also very idealistic. Maybe one day mm. I'll be more neutral than who knows. So but now I'm you're coming around to my way of thinking. But I would like to use uh, one of my hit dice. Or yeah, two also. and you do. You get a short rest. To get a short rest, because I'm a bit... I can so use one of my hit dice health. to heal the one <laughs> HP that I lost. You're going to do Because that it's one. relevant for me. So. Oh, okay, fair. That's because my words in terror. I'm going to use another one, because why not? Okay. Done. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm nearly on full again, so that's better. Mm. Mm. I still have a little bit of lay on hands if anyone needs more hit points, but keep that for mm. emergency. <laughs> 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 yes. I mean... Can you use some hit dice? Yeah. <laughs> Did you use all of your hit dice? You can roll your hit dice and get back your hit points. You get right one hit die per level. You actually don't need to have to wait one until One per level, see. and I'm, I'm level three. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. So I just roll 2d10, and then you add your constitution. After all the stuff that happened in Baldur's Gate, and I'm still level three. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> don't question it. That's the Just idea. ignore me, then. Uh, plus your constitution. Plus your constitution. Yeah, I'm full. <laughs> There you go. Spent two hits. It's fine. <laughs> and we're, Good. We're, we're all fine. We're all jolly. You're heading west. Go but west. Are you trying to move stealthily or just walking along, find, trying to find a path? I mean, there's not much point. There is not two. much point, yeah. Mm. Yes. The two people with the higher passive wisdom check. Ten. Hear people mm. moving through the forest coming from the west before you actually would see them. So you yeah. have a short amount of time to react to it. There's some rustling. If that information is shared, I will jump behind a tree. Yep. There are people coming. Okay. Out of the forest. I jump behind the tree. Mm -hmm. I join him. Yeah. Go and get yes. your own tree. I'll get to the tree next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just hide behind a different tree. Then 
We what, hide behind trees. What comes along is a weirdly motley group of wolves and a stag and a human wearing a big snake around his neck. And he talks to the snake and says, I can't believe we are missing the ritual tonight because the forest is burning. <laughs> <laughs> But we need to take care of that, or Faldon will have our hides. Literally, he holds up the snake. The snake nods. <laughs> the oh. wolf stops for a moment, sniffs, and then he moves on. Okay. Okay. So we should probably head in the direction they were coming from. Yes. They were just. They I were mean, they, They're going to, you know, let the uh, take care of the fire. I guess yeah. that's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they were sent to deal with the fire, and they're coming from the ritual. Well, they're, so, they're missing the ritual, yeah, so yeah. but they're coming probably coming from the ritual site, I would imagine. Or they have to take a detour because of the fire, mm. and won't make it to the ritual. No, uh, but you yeah, said yeah. they wanted to yeah, deal yeah, with yeah, the okay. fire. Well, I mean, they could also be like us and trying to go from one doom to the other doom <laughs> and die somewhere else, but... I think we're gonna let him go, Yeah, we're the gonna plan. let him go past yeah. and wait until they're gone and then we yes. continue. They seem to be rather in a hurry to get to where the forest is still going. So and we are standing it, around talking, so... And when they're out of earshot, I'm just going to go, how is a stag going to help to put out a fire? I don't know, maybe he can carry a bucket in his teeth. Or his antlers. Yeah, two buckets. <laughs> one left, one right. The images in my head are going like, to occupy my thoughts for the next half hour or so. so. So you have a problem with the stag helping with putting out the fire, but not with the snake or a wolf? I mean, wolves are very resourceful, and the snake could have just been his friend. But, so I see. Sure. You know, but the stag was baffling. It is their quest, and we <laughs> shouldn't think about their problems. <laughs> <laughs> Once we're done here, maybe we can ask them. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, we could have asked them. Maybe we could have <laughs> gotten a side quest. <laughs> no, I think our and main the quest snake is, the stag is important enough. Extinguish a fire. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is shape shifting. My question is what happens oh. if this guy encounters a river that he has to cross? <laughs> oh, you mean. And he only has one. <laughs> A boat and he can't leave the wolf with the stag. He can't leave the wolf with the stag. He can't leave the snake. With the wolf. Okay, but that's his problem with snakes. <laughs> yes. And I guess the answer to that is also shape shifting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we can continue. just fuse them and make a wolf stag. You're trying to follow their trace through the woods. Awesome. Yeah, we're, we're going. We're going back. <laughs> Anyone want to roll survival and follow there? Does anybody have anything in survival? I plus two. That's good. Oh, I'm not very good with wisdom. I guess it's me and the city boy. <laughs> Clearly my wisdom is not my best. Yay, five. So should I roll as well? Sure. Ah. Oh yeah, the city boy. The city boy gets a 21. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you mistrust all this greenery and so you, you immediately see if it has been disturbed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're very anxious about it. Clearly my knowledge of the city also ex extends to wooded paths. Yes. There are parks. <laughs> They're parks, yeah. yeah. I know my way through the You're parks. You're basically in a giant park. If you see, <laughs> if you look at it like this, it's Then I can deal with it a bit weird. better, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. So you follow them westwards. And it takes a few hours, actually. To, um, or at least like one hour. Mm -hmm. Roughly the time you needed to get to the point after burning down the spider's nest. And I mean, then you say that like we did it deliberately. Yes. <laughs> and then you see that there's a hill rising out from the tree line, and on the hill is the stump of a giant oak. And you can see that the buildings have been added to the stump and to the branches of this giant tree. And you can see some light flickering there and movement around the tree. So, Stealth so, mode. so it's just a stump left, but it has buildings around it. Yes, it's oh. um, it was probably once much higher, but it's missing its crown, and okay. there are buildings around it. Mm. What's this? Do you know this? So from here. From that point, we should approach stealthily. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. To not immediately get slaughtered. Yes. Stealth mode. Stealth mode. First, you don't really have to stealth because you're still quite. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> and getting closer, you see that there's also a palisade that's um, kind of mm. um, protecting 
a place on the stump on the hill where you can see that there's there's something going up like stairs and that is trays made of wood. Mm. Okay, so that's Druid camp essentially. Yes, it, okay. lo it looks familiar. Um, Jahira's camps, where she sometimes goes and visits Druids, uh, are a little bit more tidy, a bit greener, and there's less bones lying around. Mm. Probably also because if that actually looked the same, Jahira would absolutely freak out. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is probably the place. Yeah. I don't see any army of trees, but then we're surrounded by them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The wind moves through the branches. Oh, There's a creaking and rustling. I wonder what that ritual does. Well, that's what we never have to find out. Yes. I guess what we, he said. I guess we have to get in there. Yes. Well, oh. I will say now that we are not exactly very suited to sneaking into a fort, so what do you reckon we should yeah, do? Yeah, no barrels around here, right? <laughs> There's also, there are no barrels around Also, here. no doors that we can get stuck in. There are no doors in the palisade. There's an opening. Mm -hmm. There's an opening in the palisade. You can see there's you think there's a hut up on one of the platforms built around mm. the tree mm -hmm. stump. Yeah, are there people go coming and going out? Or are there uh, people bringing supplies? Or? You can see someone moving inside the palisade from mm -hmm. outside. And while he's moving, he's starting to hunch over and he's sprouting bushy fur that's oh. coming out mm -hmm. of his clothes and starting to hunch over while still growing and kind of moving into a loping um, walk. Mm. Goodness. <clears throat> Druids, you said. Don't they turn into animals? Does your wife turn into animals? Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Bears, I do bears, not want mostly. to know. What, bears? Mostly bears. Brown, mostly. brown bears. Oh, I bears. see. Very nice, yeah. very cuddly. Hmm. <clears throat> it's the first time I've heard someone talk about Jahira and say cuddly. Hmm. Right, how are we going to get in? I well. could disguise myself as the fellow that just went past and cause a distraction or something. Or yeah. you two could just march up and start hitting things and Xana yeah. I can try and why, sneak in. Why don't we try the talking thing again? We can also march in and... Do our thing, I guess. I mean, I could go up and talk to them, but I imagine even my powers of persuasion will not let them think it's a bad idea. Hmm. I mean, I can try. Technic Should we set this up so yeah. you can yes. have Please. a look at the tactical situation? <laughs> yeah. Then we're going to cut to the thing already set up, and let's hope that I'm not breaking anything while carrying it over. This is the complete setup. My goodness. Where did that come from? It just <laughs> appears from the dead. <laughs> amazing. There was nothing there before. How did that happen? Yes. So, so you are already near the palace. It's glowing from the inside. Mm. Yes. There's this a, is going from there's the a fire um, in, in the small courtyard that's formed by the palisade. Uh, there's a rune stone that's softly glowing, and there's a golden warm light coming from inside the stump of the tree. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well... I say, I say we have a few options, right? Do we? Yes. We can go up and ask them nicely to stop and see if they do. Yes. You will notice the werewolf in the courtyard. Yes, but that's okay. by the by. You can still talk to werewolves. Werewolf? I thought, I thought druids just turned into animals. Why is it a werewolf? I don't know. It Maybe like it's it a werewolf or a druid. Doesn't matter. You can rogue arcana if you really want to know. Yes. I am a wizard. I really want to know. <laughs> That's a uh, 15. So druids can turn into animals, but they fully turn into the animal. Something that can go into a shape between animal and human is definitely a weird creature. Oh, I see. That's probably what he explains, but with more eye rolling and sighing. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I see. That's why he just... It's a cursed of... existence, That's but what just... isn't. <laughs> it's probably something I would say, yes. <laughs> Right, okay. well. Fair enough. Okay, so that sounds... I don't know, do you just go and kill werewolves? I mean, they're, they're, they're humanoid some of the time, right? I mean, we can still ask we them to stop. try talking to the dryads yeah, we can, before. Uh, we question. can claim we, we came back from extinguishing the fire. What? Question? Mm -hmm. Can you heal... Just DM question. Yeah. Can you heal someone, in, you know, from the temple side of things speaking from lycanthropy or something lycanthropy. like that? Lycanthropy? Um, 
No, the, it's not. It's not. It's not working like lycanthropy. Like it's their shape changes, basically. So it's their nature, basically. Mm. And would we like? Would the gods like a good god or something? Would you just assume that someone who basically can't you kill them without? Uh... Would they be considered evil, or is that something that needs to be healed or saved or something? I'm just not sure about the law. The law. I think. I think Helen would consider them evil. Okay. Also, we cannot just... Because it says so on the card. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. We, yes. I mean, I need to... It's this thing with D&D, isn't it? You kind of need to know these things. Mm. You think Helm has a copy of those cards? I think <laughs> Helm wrote those cards. Oh. Probably. Okay. Helm, Helm wrote the whole Also, we can't go Either in. Helm or Xenathar. <laughs> wow. Let's not get into that. That would be a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe right, they're one then... and the same. It says Xenathar on some of these cards, but... Yeah. Well, that's, this is that's... this is the order of the universe according to D and D. Well, then that's something I needed to know. So I will say, well, if they're were creatures, then they're abominations and must be killed before they also, can harm we, others. We cannot was in and claim we extinguish the fire because we have people with us who scream Church of Helm without even saying a word. Maybe I feel attacked somehow. Don't you have? Um, your, your shield uh, silked again. Right now, so yes. the, the symbol is oh, yeah. doesn't show. I mean, I still have the symbol also on my sort of. <laughs> of your, also your tablet. Everywhere. According my, my tablet to your and... miniature, you have the symbol on your shield and nowhere else. <laughs> yes, the miniature is an well. approximation. <laughs> it's also sure. not the the symbol of Helm on her shield. I also because... don't constantly carry a yellow cloud around with me. <laughs> you don't. No. Okay. I, I thought you were farting all the time. <laughs> the illusion is shattered. <laughs> Ah, for for the record, I asked Max which which <laughs> halfling miniature he preferred. Yeah, that's the better one. It's yes. cool. And the other one went to Monteron because these are the the whiz kids sets. Um, yeah, the one the one looked for they like. <laughs> the the one for Monteron was garbage. That's why I kept that. Wow. <laughs> wow! Wow! Shots fired. Uh -oh. Well, if you're gonna keep saying, you know, they look the same. <laughs> right. Okay, oh, well, okay, fine. Then. I can see you're thirsting for blood. I want to charge well, in. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I'm also not... You're thirsting for blood, girl. I can see it in your eyes. Um, you can mount... <laughs> you can mount a frontal assault. I could perhaps try and disguise myself as one of these creatures or uh, this druid fellow that left and try and sneak in somehow to get an advantage of what's going on. Or we can just run in and I can sneak around anyway. Because I'm pretty sneaky. I could probably get around that palisade. I mean, just because I'm a paladin of Helm doesn't mean that I always have to have a frontal assault of everything. I'm not sure where you get that from. You could probably find... well... Can we wait? You okay. could sneak in and find out more, definitely. I cannot, but you and I'm sure Zan can. Zan can. <laughs> yes, Zan can. Get a man who can. Get what, what? What is it I can? Sneak. Sneak. Well, or kind of. <sighs> Am I, as Zan, technically, mm -hmm. familiar with Feldon as a person? Yeah, not, not very well. Okay, he... not enough to get a message across? I mean, Maybe good enough. It's blocked by three feet of wood. It's now very much depending on where Feldon actually is. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, you would know. You would have to know where she is to, mm. yeah. to message her. I would have to know that she is beyond the barrier. Yes. Okay. True. Yeah, very I think true. it's a bit tricky. Yes. But I guess you could just sit and observe for a while, just try and see. Mm. Like she pokes her head, then you could do it. It's got 120 feet range. It does. I'm this close to just strolling over and asking that werewolf guy what's going on here. <laughs> just casually. That's what you're doing. I'm this close to it. This close to it. <laughs> oh, Unless right. someone does something else. I'm only an NPC, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I tell you what. I will sneak around the side of the palisade. Yeah. And if it does come to blows, then I can jump in. In any way I see fit, mm -hmm. so I'll see you. Well, I just yeah, we'll, we'll hide sort of close in the tree mm -hmm. line, just beyond the, the palisade and just see what happens. And if you message us, yeah. if something goes wrong. I'll sneak around here, basically. And mm -hmm. just to be safe, so I have it already 
so I have it already done, basically. You want to cast Mage Armor? No, Mage Armor. Which I already did after we mm. short rested. Um, I want to um, cast my Mage Hand. So a Spectral Hand appears. And now is just there for a bit. Nice. And I will refresh it once it... Oh, it, does, it doesn't expire. Okay. Oh, yes, it expires after one minute. So I will keep refreshing my Mage Hand. Poof. Poof. <laughs> yeah, you give me a sneak one. Yes. As stealth roll, you know what I mean. Oh, dear. No, it's still a nine, but yeah, <laughs> it's not a one. I could have revolved it if it was a one. Never mind. In, you know, in the city, it's no problem. You're really good at that. But here, there's always these branches and and other things rustling underfoot, and so it gives a loud badges. 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 <laughs> Something What's breaks. What's these badges? With a surprising loud noise, the creature in the courtyard goes. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Who's there? And the one up there goes, what? Oh, no. You smell something? I heard something. <laughs> Give me another stealth roll. Do you try to hide now that they are actually looking for you? Sniffing um, around? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure if I go, yes, it's me. They're going to be particularly <laughs> nice to me. That's better. That's a 25. Yes. You find a nice, nice, uh, proper sized bush and just duck into it. <laughs> I can use my mage hand. I don't think there's anything here, just... Okay, I will not, I will not use it. I will not use it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is the wicker man ready? It is. Can we hear that from the outside? In very rough, loud mm. voices they carry. I'd say I could hear it. Bass. Mm. Lot of mm. bass. Not, not, of bass. Not, not like mine. Yeah. Imagine a lot more yes. bass. Yes. That does not sound good. Do you know someone called Wicca? No. What's a Wicca man? That's a ritual normal neutral druid no. uses. <laughs> it's the um, evil druid thing. Yeah. Yes, and you, you heard about it. Burn, burning offerings, mostly mm-hmm. alive, yeah. inside a roughly humanoid shaped thing made of wood and other hmm. flammable materials. Do you share that with the group? <laughs> yeah. If, so we should... If I'm allowed to? Yes, yeah. of course. Well, if if that's ready and they're about to start burning something... We should do something We, we should, should probably something go in now. there and stop them. What are you doing? I'm hiding in a bush. Yeah, can, can mm. we send him a message or something? No, so? he can send I him. can okay. send him a message. Oh, good. To mm-hmm. so distract them and then we... Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um... I will say to you, um, we are going. I'm can just you going distract- to rule that that's not really three feet of wood. It can go around oh. corners. Oh. It can go around corners. If yeah, I know he's there, it can go around. doesn't yeah. have to travel a straight line. Yeah. All right. Okay. So he has to be in a wooden box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so- imagining a half in a wooden box. I want to run a box! <laughs> Get me out! <laughs> so even in a barrel, like. What's in the box? <laughs> it's a half <laughs> Yes, can we go back? We need, we we need to go yeah. now. To can messaging? you distract them? Uh, I reply, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I will sneak over here. Mm-hmm. I assume I can see that fellow up there. Yeah. Um, Are you going to mock him? <laughs> no. You still have your harmonica. Mock him. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to distract him. <laughs> I do, I do still have my... I could actually. <laughs> <laughs> it would be distracting. Oh my god, please do that. I might do. Uh, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Try... No, no, no. You can only hum three notes. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sad. Why? <laughs> Gamer. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I uh, think you're do not try to sleep in, please. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, after studying his cards, Max decides on... Message. I'm going to message him. Message that guy. Yeah. You're going to message the werewolf. Yeah. Fine. I, I'm... Are you going to tell him the horse's magic too? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to whisper, Hey, over here. Did you just say something with a really tiny voice? 
we wolf downstairs and goes, no. No, I'm just a voice in your head. I'm... Brother, I'm hearing voices. You must be going mad. <laughs> Is there something to do with the ritual? Yes, absolutely. It's probably a bad idea if you start to hear voices in your head. <laughs> Is that an itch on your back? I'm... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's like it's like when the lady she talks in my head sometimes, but it sounds like a man. I, uh, That's interesting. You're, I don't know the voice. You're hearing a weird little voice in your head. Maybe you're getting weak. It has a weird accent too. Maybe you're not as strong as you thought you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> he looks around, makes a perception check, and it's a natural <gasps> 20. <gasps> Can I, while all of this is going <laughs> yes. on, use my mage hand to rustle in the bushes a bit over here? Of course. Thank you. Your floaty magic hand goes over there and rustles. The one down there is, <laughs> there's something here. <laughs> and it stalks towards the bush. Can you? Yes. No. More over here. Yeah. Okay. And then the one up there cries, I can smell you, mm. halfling. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> We hear that probably, don't we? Yes. So that was our distraction. That's our cue. We should go now. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there. That's charging. That's charging. We're charging. You're charging. Initiative? Mm-hmm. Initiative. Initiative. They are... Well, the one down, down there is surprised because it's very concentrated on the bush. Very yes. Nice. Mage hand for the win. Oh, no. 14. You're using all these cantrips. I know. Very, so very, very nice. So much fun. Okay, so. It's like, oh, these cantrips uh, like message and major, and they're not powerful, and you're like, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> he just needs to know how okay. to use them. Yeah. You had 18. 18. Just a bit of creativity. Mm -hmm. 18 for Gwyn, finally. So to speak. Four. Oh, Alan. Oh, no. Not good. I rolled one, I don't think I can read No, that. not good either. And. 14. 14 for Khalid. So you're going to take the werewolf down there by surprise. So you've got one round to beat up the poor creature, as I suspect you're going to do. And Can yeah, but the one up there, he's not surprised because he smelled halfling. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, you go first. Yes. Can you Julia move me? Julia Gwyn has the first action. Move me, I can do 30 feet, that should be enough to reach yeah. this guy. So, <laughs> <laughs> slide in. <laughs> Swish! Power slide. Very, and the billowing cool. of your cape lifts you up again. Yes, <laughs> yes. Magical cape. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to basically just run in triumphantly with my shield yeah. uh, in front of me and just... In the last moment, rise, uh, raise my sword and slash at this werewolf. Make an attack. That's uh, 16 to hit. That's a hit. Excellent. That's, ooh, very nice. 10 slashing damage. Powerful stroke. He gives a surprised yelp. <laughs> Stop this, uh, foul ritual. You will not destroy the city. He, he, his ears perk up. <laughs> <laughs> surprised. Yes, that's The next turn. one up would be... Khalid. Yeah, um... <laughs> I do everything she does, but slower. <laughs> <laughs> Without the sliding yeah, what part. She said. <laughs> Without sliding. What she said. Without sliding. And... Uh, 17. That's a hit. 7. He's uh, still pretty surprised, so he skips its action. But this one up there. Oh, you little. I'm gonna kill them first and then I'm gonna gut you. You do that. And he gets down there if he dashes, and, but that's all he does. Loping down there with a heavy gait. <laughs> Bearing his big wolven teeth. Oh, no. Now, Zan. Hmm? They are just running and killing everything. Again. <laughs> Again. Which is sometimes the solution. 
<laughs> I mean, he was growling about gutting people, so I guess. Are they technically humanoid? Um, yes. That's good to know. Um, Are you going to try whole person again? <laughs> we will see about that. <laughs> Fourth time's the charm. <sighs> Don't once. remind me, please. Um, first of all, I will run in. I only have 30 feet of movement. No, that's not true. I can use my bonus action to play thing. <laughs> And then I have actually 40 feet of movement. Yeah. Which, well, there's no space for me, is there? I'm not going to <laughs> fight a werewolf one-on-one. -on -one. Not. I guess I'm going to fight a werewolf one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> I will so regret this. To my doom! <laughs> And I would fight a werewolf one on one because why not? Good. Give me an attack roll. Yes. <laughs> that is a twenty-six to hit. <laughs> oh that is a hit. So much for barely. You. I assume. It's no. It's <laughs> basically double. Okay. They don't have that much that high in uh, AC. Thirteen damage. Thirteen. Yes. And wow. that's you, you have charged the other werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. It's because Moonblades are amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, clearly. It's like my character can't do a whole lot, but I have a super powerful magical artifact myself. It's not the worst character concept. No. Yeah. <laughs> Unless someone takes away your magical artifact. Mm. Well, the Moonblade but has a will of its own. What kind of GM would do that? <laughs> but the Moonblade has a will of its own, and it chose me. Yes. For some reason. It's not I... going to unchoose you while I'm GMing. <laughs> That's nice of you. Thank you. Good. Alan! <laughs> I would like to use my movement to go up to the mm -hmm. palisade and try and climb it. Then give me an athletics check. Mm. <laughs> 17. Oh, yes, you actually make it up there. Nice. Just as a heads Over. up, this uh -huh. will not topple as fast as a bookshelf. No. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> What do I have? I'd, that was probably an action to get up there, right? Because I use my movement to get up to the thing. Mm. So I think as a bonus action... Are you going to mock someone? No. I, that's an action anyway. Um, no. I will give... Um, yeah, I will give uh, Gwyn a bardic inspiration. Thank you very much. I, I, will, I will play my harmonica. <laughs> As a battle cry, oh. climbing up the, <laughs> climbing up the That's thing. Just the type out that it takes out its harmonica. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I'm inspired not because of the god awful harmonica music, but because. I mean god awful. I mean because of the harmonica music, but I'm <laughs> probably very inspired just to see that you're there and you're alive and mm. you didn't die on the other side of the palisade or something. So I'm just feeling it. There you go. Ten minutes that lasts. Nice one, Quinn. Now, freshly inspired. He's alive. Bardic inspired. Uh, yes, I'm going to attack the werewolf again, of mm -hmm. course. I'm going to use the bardic inspiration. Hooray! Well, um, that's. Uh, that's 12 to hit. That's a hit, exactly. Bardic inspiration? <laughs> save, wow. Save. I did something! <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. And that's seven slashing damage. Seven slashing damage for werewolf number one. Thank you. No worries. What are you? Why? Who are you? <laughs> Khalid. Oh, so, no, we're talking again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing just, the, the, that's a reaction to being hit. He's... But but he be, he goes on fighting. I mean, I yes. Uh, well, he, he raises his claws, but it's your action before him. I mean, when he... I told him that they should stop that terrible yeah, ritual. Okay. So raising his claws... Looks like a uh, surrender. Looks like gesture, this. Right? Yeah. That doesn't sound like No, it's surrender. not this. This is it's not, this. not, not yeah. really surrender I mean, it's up but to But I could answer this question. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We're here to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> you surrender. No, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Start smiling. Yeah. Still yeah. can use scimitar with we right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, that is not working. <laughs> you just clicked it, but you no. missed. Um, <laughs> Pixel hunting. 
Then he tries to take his revenge on Gwyn. Shield up. Natural 20. Shield not enough. <laughs> rips the shield aside ah. with one of his claws and tries to rake it across your body. And Rip. he does. Oh no. <laughs> 2d4. That's can, a terrible idea to fight a ball. Uh, yes. kind of, I have more than one now. I don't know where mine ended up. Um, oh, that's... Um, since it was a critical hit, that's 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. It was a terrible idea to fight a werewolf one on one. Yeah, the other werewolf yeah. that you're fighting one on one. Oh god. Um, no, I don't think that's a hit. Mm-mm. 13. No, 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 no. <laughs> Good. Then. Zan. Really? Yes. Gwyn, Khalid, oh. Wolves, Zan, Alan. Okay. Uh, That's our true. initiative. I'm right at the end. True. Uh, does he snarl evil things at me? Not. Where's the halfling? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just played a harmonica on top of the palace. Yeah, but he doesn't know that's the you source could, of the halfling. You could tell him what he do. I mean, I go. The halfling has. Again, look behind you, but not here, but in this direction. <laughs> oh. When he tries to look there, I duck. No, wait, 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 wait. He he actually looks. <laughs> yes, I duck under him and slash him from below. No. <laughs> For nothing, because. No, no, no. Um, ten. you get advantage. I like that. Ah, okay, yes. So general idea. Okay. That's better. That's t- 23 to hit. <laughs> That's a hit. Yes. For 11 damage. It's my magical sword that is humming and... Foul trickery! <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> That's good. You are surprised? Alan, no. more harmonica. More harmonica. Uh, could that double as a throwing weapon? I do have a knife I could throw. Okay. However, I have a different plan. I'm going to cast Healing Word on Gwyn. Oh, that's good. Just one, though, but... Oh. Hey, heal! Uh, you <laughs> gain slash. six hit points. Oh, thank you. That is my bonus action. I will use my action to go, Hey, I'm over here, you big furry scumbag! <laughs> Got a vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom mm-hmm. saving throw. Could have fooled me. No. Okay. He takes three psychic damage, <laughs> and his next attack has disadvantage. And that's the one fighting uh, Zan. Yeah, because that's the one you start. You started the feud <laughs> yeah. with. Mm-hmm. A few. Gwyn. <laughs> Gwyn is up again. Okay. Uh, the werewolves are now Zan very flustered. Herself. Eric is very, very, very pleased. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Uh, is it how badly injured does the werewolf look? One of those dreaded player questions. Medium. <laughs> <laughs> As in medium done. <laughs> I'm thinking. Slightly charred. Is it worth um, getting out my sacred flamey weapon again? My no, you think so? He's still really big, and yeah. threatening. You know what? I think I'll do that because it would be helpful. Also, it lasts. He, he for does. The... He does this threatening wolf thing where he he gnashes his teeth and this chattering sound of big animal teeth right in front of your face. Actually. I mean, they said we should be careful with the fire, but I'm not exactly in foliage, so, you know, I think it's <laughs> Oh, fair. no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be turning, uh, I'm going to be setting that werewolf on fire. Mm-hmm. So, as a bonus action, I cast Searing Smite. I'm the one who has to explain this to him. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. Uh, Searing Smite. Maybe I just leave. <laughs> Make like a tree and leave. If there is anything left of you after, I would go to your funeral. Oh, you know what? No, I got that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, I thought that that was the thing I had to do, but instead of the... I can do the thing without the fire. I can do um, Divine Smite, not Searing Smite. Not Searing Smite. smite. Yeah, so all Divine Smite. That's better. Less fire, more God. You go to yes. funerals? Hmm? So I'm gonna attack him first. It's a then, figure of speech. Uh, uh, and basically on I mean, a melee attack point? hit. Mm. I can use it to cast, um, to do device. I mean, it's yes. basically a look into your future. So, if you view it that way. That's, That's a hit. Uh, 18 to hit. It's a hit. Okay, then on a hit, I will cast Divine Smite 
use a spell slot for um, extra radiant it damage. It shows you very drastically the futility That's of everything you do. 2d8. I mean... It's not an undead or a fiend, I'm guessing. Does it does it now your weapon count as magical? Oh yeah. I could do that. Um, mm. No, not specifically. Mm. You won't, right? It's just Hey, I'm smiting here. <laughs> Let's just say I would. How many DAs you need? Uh, smiting does take really a long time. Eight. Okay. It's very complicated smiting. Mm. Now we, we actually have to to kind of get apart what is actually your weapon damage and what is your Smiting damage. That's, uh, does he take extra damage from radiant damage? No, he yeah. just takes less damage from normal damage. Oh, I see. Okay, so damage, that's damage, 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 damage. So that's uh, not if you have a glowing nine sword, but... slashing damage mm -hmm. and um, six radiant damage. Thank you. Ah, so he's resistant to normal damage. Paladins, right? <laughs> Can I tell that somehow? Like, do I know that from? My knowledge of I mean, how she's next to you. So yeah, you magic works. Well. Yeah. You can tell that you, you're not actually doing as much damage as you should. As I should have. Okay. Yes. Very well. But, or, or, or at least the um, wounds are closing again really quickly after oh, you hit him. Oh, okay. Very good. It's not the same with the, with the Zan's weapon. That hmm. seems to work really well against werewolves. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Good. That was my turn. That was your turn. Then someone appears from the hut up there. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, Looking dun. down on what is happening below her. Damn, I should oh, look, a whole person target. <laughs> 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 is too far away. What Go. is going on? Uh, We're stopping your evil ritual from destroying the city. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I am very righteously taking back what was taken from nature, and you're not going to stop us. That's why you work for Tsar? No. He made me a gift. He gave me a gift. Oh, sure, because he's so selfless. Guessing that's that's, that's so him. Mm. It's only six seconds, technically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still an initiative. Okay. She starts moving up to the other platform. That's all she does this round. What has she got on her head? It's a um, spirit bird. Cool. It's just part of the village. Nice. She's not... Well, Thaldon herself is not carrying a spirit oh, bird right. around all the time. <laughs> really but cool. it's a nice village. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> 19. Oh dear. Khalid. Yes. 19. That's a hit. <laughs> 7. Yeah. Your sword is not at all. Slashy, slashy. Action search? Mm-hmm. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh, no. Not a one. One. And it's not exactly a natural 20. Mm. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe you shouldn't Use. hurry. Slow is fast, faster, <laughs> slow. <laughs> next um, next better, is so. the werewolves. I just wanted to make up for ah. No, that's a miss. And that's also a miss. The werewolves, um, yeah. Wow. And also the one werewolf has disadvantage because he's been more, oh, that's actually with disadvantage. He has a natural one. He just stands there, his eyes, uh, his ears back. <laughs> now he also still doesn't know where the halfling is. <laughs> I, mean, I, just... I, could, I could hear him. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> kind of cute, right? Yeah, I really don't this want to kill This is how I do my enemies. I just annoy them so much. <laughs> annoy them to death. I annoy them today. Oh, it's my turn. Like, there's a huge werewolf in mm -hmm. front of me who's yes. very menacingly looking. I'm not mm -hmm. going to have a quiet one on one with Paldon. So, I am trying to dart around him and slash him with my magic sword. Oh, fine. Slash away. With a 10, I'm probably not going to no. slash away with my magic sword. And he keeps twisting, trying to find the half lane, yeah. and so you miss. And so I miss. Um, moving is also not an idea, not a good idea. I don't have bonus action, so okay. it's my turn. Alan, let's go. Are you going to mock people? Um, no, I don't think I am. 
Um, I think I've used a couple of spells quite well. So I would like to scale down the other side of the palisade. Mm-hmm. Um, can I just do that or can I make an acrobatics check no, or something? You, you just do that. Okay. I would like to go over to the fire mm-hmm. and remove a branch from it. No problem. And then attack the werewolf from behind with it. <laughs> Fine. Ten, I, I imagine a bit, a bit like tiny Aragorn works. style, rapier in one hand, mm-hmm. burning the <laughs> in the other. Tiny Aragorn, I like that. And you yeah. can actually flank really him with good. me. Yeah, that too. So you want to make a pincer movement? Pincer Basically, yeah. yeah. The, the good. Side. Then you have advantage mm-hmm. on attacking with your improvised weapon, so it's just... Um, D4, I think. But I will... Um, yeah, and also you don't get your... I don't get my bonus. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so advantage, and I'll attack with the flaming brand. Okay. Uh, I guess without proficiency, mm-hmm. strength or strength. dexterity, then 18 to hit. That's a hit. So 1d4 nice fire damage. Four. Well. <laughs> he, he, give, he gives a yelp, then he looks over his shoulder and you there you are. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Win. Well, um, the smiting, the smiting work pretty well. Uh, well, you might be protected by supernatural forces, abomination, but so am I. I will channel divinity to mm. make my weapon magical. Mm-hmm. So I'll use that up uh, for one minute. I can add my charisma modifier to attack rolls, and it's now my weapon again. It's glowy, <laughs> glowy sword, bros. I give you like. Like this crooked smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to attack him again with my magical sword. Uh, that's a 15 plus charisma. 18 to hit. That's a hit. Yes. Okay. But I don't do any extra damage or anything. Nope. But it counts as magical now. Yeah. Nine damage. Nine slashing damage. Ooh, yes. This works much better, you think. You actually cut a... Um, deep furrow through his skin and palate. <laughs> then Faldorn, up there, steps towards the um, passage down and calmly, but also loud enough that every one of you can hear her voice carries, says, Stop this! You cannot stop the ritual. Yes, we can. <laughs> Why do you even want to? to? I'll be out of a job otherwise. To protect the innocent people of Baldur's Gate. I don't think there's anyone innocent there. And if they are, they will rejoice once they live in harmony with nature. You think that that is going to happen? Nature always prevails. Yeah, we, no, we, sorry, That's no. what my wife is telling me all the time. <laughs> We got a point. (laughs) (laughs) Khalid! We clearly do not know the same age. Clearly, very clearly. There's nothing natural about what he does. Nothing. I do not care for Zar. He gave me a tool, I'm going to use it. Or rather, I will have it used. By someone else. Something that a mad mage who talks to people, no one can see. That's gave you. Quite a long That's discussion. Six for yes, we, we, we went into a break. Yeah. So. I mean, Gwyn technically is still attacking, <laughs> maybe, theoretically. Yes, it's also important for me to know how long this conversation is going, because I hope it doesn't take too long. <laughs> can we? Because, you know. Well, Khalid would the next. Doesn't yeah. last that long. <laughs> I mean, are, are we still fighting with the werewolves while talking to that lady? Yes. They, please. We, we so imagine... we're shouting over our shoulders while, yes. while fencing and okay. Otherwise there would be no point to cast I, I think Khalid is confused. Are we <laughs> negotiating? Are we fighting? Attack the damn Are werewolf! We... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs> <laughs> Khalid is still confused. Yeah. Too confused to attack. Yes. The werewolf tries to bite you now. Yeah. This time around. And that is 21. Mm-hmm. Clearly he didn't get the memo when he was told to stop, but whatever. So eight hit points <sighs> lost. Ah! I'm distracted from talking to people and telling Khalid what to do. 
and the other one is now trying to get at Alan, yeah. turning around, still burning, patches of fur <laughs> smoking all over him. Oh, that's a bad smell. And uh, yeah, that's an 11, that's probably not. That is not a hit, man. Yes. So yeah. then. Ah. Um, he's facing me now. Yes. And the, wo- the werewolves are still attacking, so they're not even listening to what Feldon's saying, so I'm still attacking as well. Um, but she's been smiting them, and <laughs> she's he's smiting. been stabbing them, and the one, the one you are fighting is really angry at Alan for mocking him. Looks like he's trying to grab my head, but... That is true, <laughs> that really does look like that. Um, I wouldn't even know what to say, so I'm... Just stab it. Just we can going. talk later once we've finished yeah. stabbing the werewolf. Just going to slash it, yeah. Um, with 18? Yes. We're going to slash uh, it. It's still with advantage, technically, though. Mm. Well, well, 18. Let's, let's leave it at 18. <laughs> Do 11 points of magical slashing damage. By now, he's first matted with blood. He doesn't look bad with anymore. Well, he wasn't pretty to start with, <laughs> but... I, I think he was cute. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was hideous. Mm. Oh no, that was the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know Zar doesn't give gifts. And also your guys are still fighting. That's my turn. <laughs> mm. Alan, what do you want to do? Uh, I will uh, attack once with my rapier mm-hmm. and once with the burning branch to the bonus action. That's okay. Uh, probably not advantage because he's facing me currently. Is that how we're doing it? Or is he, do I just have advantage because he's flanked? Um, he's pincered. Yes. You have advantage. Okay, so first attack with the rapier. Um, uh, 18. That's a hit. So 1d8 plus three. Ooh, 10 piercing damage. Yes. And yeah, then, but you, you draw it out and you see that the wound actually starts closing again. Yeah. Uh, second attack with the burning brand. Uh, that's not as good, only an eight. No, that's not a hit. Okay, never mind. Mm. He bats away your hand with the, with the torch, the improvised torch. You can keep holding it. Mm-hmm. Are you not going to burn me again? Faldorn, can I eat him? <laughs> he asks. <laughs> Gwyn, very polite. What do you want to do? Well, I'd there say... There's talking going on, but there's also fighting going on. Talking and fighting. We can do both. Well, I would say... <laughs> it's amazing! Well, first, uh, I look at Khalid and I'm just, let's take care of these first and then, then we can worry about her. Attack again with a... Uh, uh, six to hit. Mm-hmm. That's a hit. Uh, that's six slashing damage, again, with a magical weapon this mm-hmm. time. Really got any other form of action things, but your wounds, but that's an action. Okay. Yeah. Far Dawn is actually going first. And she holds up a hand and she's starting an incantation that you know very well from your wife. And there is, is like plants sprouting from the ground trying to grab or ah. to win. Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no, this dexterity. <laughs> oh. oh damn. <laughs> Uh, that's cocked. Um, that's uh, th- 13. Oh, wait a second. Oh. No. That is that is actually a, uh, a miss. You think you make it out, and then one of the one of the vines grabs your <laughs> ankle and it starts entwining you, and you're well, you're restrained. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um. Khalid. Can I do anything to help her except from attacking the vine? Um, you can try and wrestle with the vine and rip it apart, and then she has advantage on her roll to get free. Okay, can I attack the werewolf and try to help her in the same round? Probably not. I don't think so. <laughs> no. I think it's an action. It's an action to help someone. Okay. I try to finish the werewolf. Yes. Um, that's probably what I would say to Finish that's him. That's 19. 19, that's a hit. Okay. And eight. Nine. 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 That's it for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, the werewolf now has advantage attacking Gwyn. Oh, damn. 
He misses. So, <laughs> oh. Yes! Helm protectors, paladins. But the one that's facing Alan rolls a nine. It has a 19. Oh, that'll, that'll do it. I need the... What? What do you need? No, I have it. Ah. Um, that's nine points of damage and he's... <sighs> Nothing. ...trying to bite you. It's fine. Sure. I've had worse. Mm. He has more hit points than me for some reason. I think I rolled better. Maybe. Yeah. Good. I don't know, I got the level in completely wrong. <laughs> no, you must have rolled really well. I think I did, actually. I have, uh... Okay. You... Zan is up. Yeah, it's my turn. Um, so, she casts a spell, mm-hmm. restraining someone. She didn't even reply to me. <laughs> Get her! So, I will attack the werewolf for uh, 19 to hit. That's a hit. Sorry. And that is 10 magical slashing damage. Hmm. The werewolf goes down with a howl, yes. still burning in patches and pieces. Aha. And nearly crushing Alan. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what you get. That's your action? You, of course you are. No, that was that was my. I was just. That was your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that was your reaction. Mock, mocking believe, is a reaction. I believe speaking is an action. <laughs> mocking is a reaction. Uh, but I will. I will start making my way up this mm-hmm. uh, palisade. Mm-hmm. I'll just. Oh, that's very delicate. I'll just pop myself there. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, it's not bad. And I will look at. Um, what's her name? Fal. 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 Dawn. Fal. Dawn. Um, what can I say that insulting? Uh, about how that's insulting. Um, you know, I can't be very hygienic living out here. I can smell you from here. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 18. Ah, oh, that's a pass, unfortunately. So I just insulted her. You're going to smell much worse in a moment. Oh dear. Quinn. Yes, I would like to struggle free of the vines, please. Strength check. Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw? Mm-hmm. Uh, 14. Yeah, you actually break free of the vines. <laughs> so Hulk style, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna rip, the, rip them apart. Oh. Okay. I guess that's my action? Yeah. That's a saving throw. Oh, okay. So I can still attack? Mm-hmm. Then I will do that. What? What? <laughs> what? Uh, Helping someone yeah, is an action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The saving throw is part of the spell. Saving throw is part of the spell. That's yes. true. Yeah, but. I, I think perhaps with that spell you need an action to break free. Right. Okay. It makes more sense like that. Let's rule that that was the action. It's not important. Just for the record, I will look it up yes, because no. it's not my turn. But the creature can use an action to break free. So, uh, yeah, you used your up yeah, yeah, action to, to break free. Okay. Get out of there. Then it's Fardon's turn, and she starts to hunch down and grow at the same time, and all her clothes just slow, kind of start bubbling in them, there's fur sprouting all over her body. Oh, oh of course there is. And suddenly, the, yeah. Uh, you know that from Just from like wife. my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know that there? Maybe, I mean. Okay, I think. <laughs> 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 17. You don't think that's your wife? What was this about? Attacking the werewolf. <laughs> Attacking the werewolf. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was thinking you were actually making a wisdom roll. Like, oh, no, 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 I, I yes. don't want to think about it. <laughs> don't want to think about it. He feels 17 in, is a hit. Yeah. So he feels invigorated and now hits the werewolf. Like um, 7. 7. Nice. The werewolf staggers away from you and says, uh, Are you really dead? Can you just give up or run away? I'm die. One of those. Fall down! He <laughs> moves away from you, so he's just disengaging yeah, be- for his action. You better run. <laughs> he disengages. That's good. Yes. Where does he go? There's um, not much. Oh, room. He tri- practically goes. Yeah. You can dart oh. into the tree line, maybe. Yes. I can go, I can go here. Yeah. He's baring, baring his teeth, bleeding, and there's blood dripping from his muscles. Nice. And then he slowly starts turning into a wolf. So he's small now and can an get away. Wolf. Yes, <laughs> an actual wolf. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Zan. 
There's okay. a bear up here. Yep. <laughs> Just want to let you know. Is the well? Does she actually complete? Like the bear is now not a humanoid anymore, correct? Yeah. Because I, I mean, mm -hmm. druid, hold, per, hold, trying to cast hold person a druid is stupid anyway. But <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Wait, right now she's a bear, and um, that's not humanoid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's not humanoid. Um, Alan, why are you up there? Why are you not down? I didn't think she was going to turn into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Probably you should come down, first thing. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I actually do, and I want to, like, scoot over to my companions. <laughs> and kind of... Nudge Gwyn in the side and what be like, doing? bear, bear! Attack the bear! <laughs> later. What do you mean later? Um, Kill the bear! I can try to charm the werewolf! <laughs> I'm trying to charm the werewolf, but we're fighting the, the, the werewolf. The werewolf is already... He's already, he's already... No, he's also a wolf now! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I only can do stuff to humanoids. Okay, it's my turn. Whatever. Well... <laughs> It's not my fault sorry. for you specializing on humanoids. No, I think no, that's it. Zan's just freaking yeah, out. Yeah, Zan's freaking out. <laughs> it's done. I said that's my turn. That's a, sorry. Oh yeah, that's you're freaking turn. out. That's your turn. Fine. <laughs> Gwyn. Uh, no, Alan. Alan. You. I see the bear. You are sorry for you. Yeah, for deciding to go up there. I go back. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use my uh, action. I'm going to say, movements go back, use my action to basically hide behind the fire. Mm -hmm. um, bonus action... No, I think I'll leave it for the moment. I'm just going to hide behind the fire and see what happens. Oh, fine. Yeah. Then it's Gwyn again. What are you doing? We, we need to stop her. The ritual, she said it, it's already started. Yes, yeah, so and she's just turned into a bear. So... Be my guest. Hmm. That guy's trying bear. to get away. Well, I will step forward. Can you move me forwards to the wolf? The wolf. Oh, you really mean it, do you? You're gonna just get, kill the leave wolf. Leave the wolf. Let's, Let's just leave the wolf and kill the bear. But whatever. Is that enough. I mean, I was going to kill the bear. I was going to run up there and attack the bear. But then what? you all retreated. So <laughs> we all retreated. <laughs> I'm unsure. Now. Alan did. I'm just a bit unsure because last time I, I got I it wrong. That. Last time it's I got it wrong. It's not the first so. time a wrestling lady who turned into a bear. Okay, so <laughs> I'm fine with that. Well, I'm taking care of the wolf first because that seems like the safer option right now. I'm not going to run up there and then they all flee and leave me behind again. So, <laughs> to, to be fair, I remind you the wolf is trying to slink back through the trees. So he is retreating. He already turned into a wolf. He's not even a were werewolf anymore. Anymore. Yes. He's just a wolf. Just it's a very, very badly... big wolf. But it's still a werewolf in mm. like. Okay. And he's still cute and bleeding. I'm going to attack like... the wolf. Yeah. You're going to. I'm not the wolf. letting that wolf go and terrorize other people. <sighs> Seventeen to hit. That's a hit. It's so confusing. I think it's also very confusing for Quinn. Uh, seven slashing damage. You slay the wolf. <laughs> well, that was the safest <laughs> choice. <laughs> okay. Go down. He's dead now. You killed that wolf. Hmm. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> well, then, yeah, I will turn to Khalid and poor, just say... Little, yeah, poor little wolf. Poor little doggy. <laughs> Yes. You know, dead. you know your way around this whole druid thing. Do you yeah. think the ritual will stop if we stop Faldon? I have no idea, but <laughs> I'm charging up there. Okay, mm -hmm. well, finally yeah. someone with some I, sense. I think she's she's uh, starting and charging down here, right? It's her well, turn. Well, it's, it's it's her turn. All oh, right. Yeah. And yes, she's charging down. Well, she die. makes it to the. Actually, you just meet in the middle of the bridge. Excuse me, but yes. can I also, if he says that, I'm going to use my movement to move up to the bridge. Yeah. So, yes. So you can move me. Uh, at That's least very considerate of in you. In front of Zan. So you you in front of me. So here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So she's so. charging down and she's charging right into you, and. Oops, sorry. Yeah, she it's just a bear sort of rolling down. No, it was a somersault. Mm -hmm. She somersaults down the whole thing. So she turns into a sort of a rolling fluffy ball. Yeah, and, and then... Just... No, she's running down the... 
<laughs> rickety construction that they built up the stump of a tree oh, no. is shaking and groaning <laughs> under okay. the massive body of the bear. Oh dear. 19. That would just hit me, yes. Yeah. She basically just bolts into you and um, ah! kicks you off your feet. Oh no. Make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Dexterity. You take six points of Natural damage. Natural 20. And do you stay on your feet? You just <laughs> you hold your ship between you some style. Just, <laughs> you just shove backwards five feet. Okay, shove me backwards five feet. Into, Into that. Me. Into that. <laughs> Into that. Yes. Yeah. And how much damage was that? Six. Six damage. Six. And then she stops and roars at you very loudly. <laughs> Okay, this is a very big bear. You hear an elf coughing in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> because you just shoved me five feet. <laughs> not, not on purpose. <laughs> Kali, okay, you will Khalid. notice that a huge bear just Khalid landed. Khalid charges <laughs> towards the bear. Me. And uh, I'm sure Khalid uh, was in situations like this before. <laughs> <laughs> when you're... And I'm sure he knows weak spots of You should bears. not have eaten that last cookie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, because you were in situations like this before. Yeah, you should not have eaten no, he, the last cookie. He also actually fought real bears, so <laughs> quite a lot, not just as well. Um, but I mean, she can get hangry, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to rule that for your first attack, you're going to get advantage yeah. because of prior bear, prior bear experience. Prior bear encounters, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, great. Still not a hit. Uh, 13. <laughs> Um, you know, a bear doesn't have such a great armor class, it's a huge thing and it doesn't wear armor, yeah, so okay. it's a hit. Eight. Eight points of damage. I tried to hit his nose. <laughs> I think that's something Her. bears don't like. Her. <laughs> it Her. really looks Her like nose. it doesn't like that. Mm. You probably made it mm. angry. Well, uh, the werewolves are out. Can you still hear? Zan. A bit. Um, Yes, I will circle around the bear. One, two, three. It's really a shame we don't fight up there. It would have been such a nice picture <laughs> fighting yes. on the platform. But I am. We are fighting down. Could we, as just, a wizard, just, I am not going to run face to face with a bear. Sorry, but I'm not going to do that. Mm. Yeah, but I, I mean, will live one. You're hurting round. his Could grammatic sensibilities. As, as yes. a, a, a combat group, uh, I mean, including the bear, <laughs> discuss the <laughs> fighting the location of a fight. For, I don't know, safety reasons, <laughs> we could continue the fight upstairs. I mean, perhaps if the it bear It would be retreats, more dramatic. Perhaps mm -hmm. if the bear retreats up, yeah. then maybe that will happen. We can lure him upstairs. Perhaps that's what yeah. might happen yeah. when Alan has Her. his go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Her upstairs, sorry. Yeah. But for my turn, I will... I am going to go there and I'm going to slash the bear yeah. downstairs. I'm really sorry, but that's what's going You're hurting his dramatic sensibilities. You know that. Well, that's just how it is. So, you're telling me I should run past the bear, take an attack of opportunity, die, and then the bear is magically <laughs> going to appear up there. I don't know. Do you want to be part of the last session? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I will attack the bear and run up uphill. Whatever. Can I even make it? No, don't, don't be stupid. I was joking. <laughs> okay. Just attack the bear, please. No, it's 13. You think th 13? That's a hit. Yes. Armor class no, of yes. a brown bear is okay. 11. Oh, nice. That is seven points of magical <laughs> slashing damage. It's still seven. You rolled a one? Okay. Yes. Oh. Mm. That, that moonblade is, is a moonblade plus three. Moonblade. Mm -hmm. That's a plus three weapon. Now, Alan. Right. <laughs> And <laughs> bear gets it. You can no. recruit this character with a. He's level three. eight usually. He's level eight. Mm -hmm. In the thing in the book. In the game, Baldur's Gate one. Yes. Can you recruit him? Yes. And he he's got that weapon. And yeah. in Baldur's Gate, it's even better. Yeah. It's even better. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I want to. So I've used I use my movement mm -hmm. to get up to. Uh, the palace. No. Yes. And I want to basically. I assume it's kind of raised a bit. I basically just want to haul myself up so I avoid the bear, basically. Mm -hmm. And I want to start running up the palisade. Yes. No, not the palisade. The uh, the, the the ramp. So the I basically. Ramp. You make it halfway up there, probably. Yeah. With Again. twenty-five feet movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now the bear's out the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's good. what I do. Mm. There's still the light shining from inside. The oh, tree. is anyone really badly injured? 
Yes. No. Healing word. Thank you. What is your healing word? Um, <laughs> dude. No. <laughs> like, like a safe word? No. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, that sixth thing, as I say... Is it what? Six. Six hit points you regain. Thank you. Yeah. I know. It's probably some halfling. Something you never, some mysterious you never say word. by accident. Like, excuse me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bless Sorry. you. Bless you. Cool, Good, you. that was Alan Gwyn. Well, now I feel rejuvenated mm-hmm. and not dying anymore. Then um, someone, can someone move me to the back of the bear, please? So I have 30 can... feet, so see if I can do that. One, two, three, four. Well, you can pass through the thing, right? One, two, three, yeah, four, yeah. five, six. You can go here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so I will dodge. Seeing as Khalid is in front of me now to protect me from Circling the bear, the I will circle around with my shield and uh, looking for a good spot to attack the bear. And then seeing as it's a huge freaking bear, I'm going to use my last spell slot to cast Searing Smite, because why not? Mm-hmm. Um, so as a bonus action, fire, right? I cast Searing Smite. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's, the that's the thing with the fire. Ah, spell yeah. slot, that's the thing with the fire, yes. Fire again. Mm. And then I attack the bear. Worked last time so well. Uh, 11, 16 to hit. I That's mean, weird. yes, I yes. remember the bear. So I get normal damage plus a d6 fire damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, lovely. That's uh, 11, 16 damage altogether. And the bear is now on fire. The bear is on fire! <laughs> yes. And Your at the start of the bear's turn, it has to make a constitution saving throw. Which is now. On a failed save. Uh, well, that looks like a save yes. for me. <laughs> That's 22. Okay, on a successful save, the spell ends. So, yeah. No more fire. Does that damage. damage still? Uh, only on a failed save, it takes more damage. So. No. so, it's just on fire for a second, maybe. Well, it was. Worse. Maybe it was a damp bear. <laughs> the bear disengages. <laughs> the bear disengages and starts. With, with with a hurt sound starts barreling oh. up and probably <laughs> oh no and probably past Alan using both uh, action and movement to get up here oh okay and damn the bear stands in halves <gasps> can that can the bear disengage and use an action to dash Bloody no it can't oh yeah, yeah right no, okay. so it ends up halfway up so probably next to me yes well, that, that is Sorry, going I to didn't be mean to diss your bear. <laughs> we can I was do just that. Impressed. Yes. Wow. Master of balance. <sighs> Khalid. <laughs> ah! <laughs> let's, let's follow that bear. Yeah. Follow that bear. <laughs> <laughs> Should we glue them to the. No, you never get it off. I mean, maybe we can just pretend that that is yes. enough movement to get up here. This is amazing. This yes. is amazing. <laughs> Didn't catch it on camera. Ah. Never mind. This is a game of anti Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you turn D and D into a dexterity game. As well. so, yeah. Yes. So if I can't manage to attach my miniature to the ramp, I don't manage to get up. Yes, there. you fail your dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Perfect. And now I hit the bear in his butt. <laughs> Her and butt. In her, and with a one, I don't. No. <laughs> so just Yeah, the rickety thing you're standing yeah. on is swaying and oh, groaning, exactly. and you think it might not hold on much for much longer with a bear standing on it. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So let's add more weight to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zen. <laughs> sure, let's add more weight sure. to it. Well, at least she has I, javelins. The DM's face palming. Yes. I know. I'm sure I saw that's that. not a good sign. It's not. No, oh, no, oh, no, Alan. No! <laughs> you push Alan to the side. No, you no. lead to the side. Oh. Alan is still hanging, this, hanging on. This doesn't can, work. I mean, you can try and get it on there. Oh, yeah, correct, right. But now I have to reattach Khalid first. Use your no, back. reattach Khalid. No. Aha! And now I have to attach Zan. Can't we all agree to use all of our actions? No. Yeah. 
This is how we're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh, dude. This is not. This is not how I expected this piece yes! of landscape to work. Yes! And I can now attack the bear. Nobody jiggle the table. All right, yeah, hands away. Hands away from him. Wow. Well, within 26. <laughs> That's a hit. <laughs> and 10 damage. 10 damage. <laughs> The bear melts back into Faldon's human form. Are you sure? Oh. On the ramp? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, it has to because it's out of hit points. Is she moving away so we don't have to adjust? <laughs> <laughs> no. That was that was not her action. That's okay. her shapeshifting. <laughs> this is. Can we please just move everyone, just up, to everyone up to the platform? Yes. yes. Is she gonna move up to the top? Yeah, we, we just let's, we let's imagine. Let's just fighting. No, we, we can just move her up to the top because we are all, all attached now. Yeah, we're all attached. Yes. So she can go up to the top. So, so she can just go here. Just to basically jiggle the ramp, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone falls down. <laughs> yes, the ramp suddenly snaps upwards as the weight of the bear is lifted. And yes. we should we should also put her somewhere like here, so we have actually space and don't need. Yeah, to Yeah, no, no, put you around it. Oh, yeah, but we're there. Or? But we are there. We can wait a turn. Yeah. And we have a proper oh. initiative order and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Do this properly, We're damn it! This. We've made <laughs> the thing twice. is, um, what she did was not an action. That okay. was his shape shifting being forced to yeah. end. Yes, yeah. and then you can she, you can use an action to disengage and then move but on. It, it's but not it's not her turn. turn. That's bad. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. why I said just move Set. yourselves move up the there. Okay, okay. <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I hurt myself building this. <laughs> I spent hours on it. And, now you're and we are trying to again. use it, sorry. We're trying to use it. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> well. It's fine. It's all good. How, how did you want us to use it? <laughs> with more respect. This is, you know. Uh, yeah, with maybe... Less balancing. Well, this is not, you know, players against... I bring laughter to the players. <laughs> oh, players versus opponents, but also players versus this. the board. Right. If you didn't want us to put our minis there, why <laughs> did you put bones on them where we can actually lean them on? I didn't put the bones there. I guess the designer did. I'm just at the bottom just going, Alan, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Alan. It's my turn. Yes. Right. So what actually happened? The so bear ran you out You were just points. You yeah, moving. What, what happened in, in the narration? While you were fighting, she kept stepping up, huffing and, and trying and numbering up and you kept hitting her and following her oh. and when you reached the lift of the platform she got the last hit by Zan and turned back into a human woman staggering backwards and you kind of just as a wave Advanced. you spilled on top of the platform with her and now she's standing there directly to the next to the you hole. can you next just to have hole, to shove yes. you just have and what do I shout at her when I shove them into the hole what's happening <laughs> this is <laughs> Baldur's Gate. Faerun. This is a cliche. <laughs> um, but you it's my go. Make her be part of her own ritual, mm. apparently. I mean, okay. Uh, maybe don't shove the magical woman into the glowing tree stump until you know what it does. Um, I assume when when we know what it does, it's pretty much too late. So. <laughs> oh, you're just doing pessimistic. I mean, she's out of. <laughs> She's she's defeated already, right? Well, no, no. no. She just, she just lost back. her bear form. Ah, okay. So she lost just... her bear hit points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she mm -hmm. lost all her bear hit points, but she's probably still very capable. Her bear points. <laughs> her, her bear points. <laughs> um, right. Let me think about this. It's now a bear druid instead of a bear druid. Ah. Ah. <sighs> well, not. She still have clothes on. So. That's true. It's true. But barely. Ah. Ah, oh, right. I Disadvantage on whatever you do next. <laughs> I was drinking something. Okay, I, I need to... Um, but because we've kind of moved things around, would it be possible for me to thunder wave her into the hole? <laughs> I know and it's us like, all off the platform. Yes. No, 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 no. Great idea. I thought that was a bad thing. No, no, because yeah, it's, but, a, it's a cube. But putting the person... The yeah, but it's person, going outward. From, from um, you you have to kind of specify a center, and then yeah, it's going out outward from, you, from the so center. You, so yeah, yeah, if you, I mean, so, we get so I can do this platform. cube, yeah. so it won't hit them. But then yeah, she but then you're be... going to throw her into them. So yeah. that way, or that it's way. a thunder wave outward, not. Yeah, I um, guess. Yeah. 
Also, maybe from the not, sucking her in. Just hit okay. her. Not a black hole. Okay. It's a thunder wave, not a black hole. Okay. Um, well, if I, I don't. If I can't do it, then I'll do something else. Well, I'm not there. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? What is race is she? Is she an elf? Uh, no, she's human. Okay, sleep. <laughs> Go I, ahead. I'm going to cast sleep on her. A 20 foot radius over here, just her. And mm -hmm. I'm going to cast it at second level, because sod it. We've only been fighting elves, it seems, and dryads and fey things. You need more d8. I do, I need 78 altogether. Five. So I'll roll these five and then another two. Uh, okay, that wasn't the best. That was two fours. Oh, goodness. Uh, so it's two fours, uh, ten, twelve, uh, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. She blinks for a moment. That's what happens. Ah, uh, well. Maybe she just feels slightly tired. <laughs> Gwyn, you are done. Finally! There. So, how many feet is it to get up to the ramp? If you use both your so movement and your action, you can get up there. Okay, then I'll Please don't stop in the middle of the ramp. I will not stop in the middle. I'm not, I'm not that silly. Um, oh. <laughs> well, I'm now sorry. all of a sudden you are. <laughs> Uh, can I get on the other side of Alan, or is there a hole I can't see? There is a hole. <laughs> you, can, you can, but then... Jump into the hole. <laughs> and you will find out what the rituals are. I will not. Wait for us in the next area. I will not jump into the hole. I'll just get behind Alan then, and... You can protect me when she attacks me. Yes, exactly. I have... Um, you can hold your shield over Alan. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh no! Like... <laughs> yeah, no, the only bonus action I had was Searing Smite, and that's gone, so... That's it. Good. It's Thardon's turn and, uh, again. Probably don't push her into the hole. <laughs> oh. Sorry. She looks around, counts, looks at how hurt you are, or rather not, and then she turns into a bird. Oh. She disengages. Oh. Boo. <sighs> how far can she go? Oh! No! But Fair I drew it! Disengaging as a bird. Uh, at flying speed, I think she's um, easily 70 feet away at the end of her turn. Mm, okay. <sighs> Cheap! You can message her Come because on. that is 120 feet away. No, when she disengages, not. Okay. Her shape shifting uh, is a bonus action because she's high enough. Okay. Yeah. Let's but. find out the, what the ritual is all about. That's yes. what I meant. Uh, yeah, I want to investigate this uh, Wicker Man here. Yeah, there's. The Wickerman was uh, so obviously of... prepared to have more things stuffed in there. So there's pockets. Yeah. Okay. Much and now that, that it's a bit more quiet, you can hear it's like chanting from down the hall. Chanting in the hall. Oh, okay. Mm. So let's, let's look down there then. But they need, Do you want to investigate they need the, the Wickerman to complete the ritual, right? You don't know. We don't know. They said they had to burn the thing. Mm. That's true. They said they could. Yeah, so maybe. If, as long as they don't set the Wicker Man on fire, we're quite, we're, we're, we're good. relatively safe, well, maybe. She right. said we cannot stop the ritual, maybe she was Yeah, right. and maybe that happens automatically at some point. Okay. So, who wants to do it? You investigate the Wicker Man. Yes. What's the rest of it? I want to take a look in her... You go up to the hut. hut. I, I will go with Khalid to the hut. In the, in the hut, there's a tiny cot and not much more of amenities. And there's a cage <coughs> made of Wicker actually and there's a small creature a small fairy creature that is about to chew its way out of there to gnaw its way out of there hmm. then it looks up at you puts his tiny pink hands on one of the wicker bows and goes Greep! what is it boo <gasps> <laughs> um i think that's where we end this session no. Oh, yeah. no. We're going to have to put the finale into another session. No. no. <laughs> or maybe one and a half, probably. Who knows? Very well. Yay. So you can have another look at the setup. Yay. Definitely <laughs> yay. yay. Definitely Thank you. yay. Thank you for playing. Thank you for, for not um, ruining this or setting it on fire. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, not yet. She what tried. She? There's still time. Yes! <laughs> so next time we'll see whether they burn down the tree stump and the huts and everything with Boo on top. <laughs> Which would be sad, I think. 
Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>this is the not live usually live outro of the show um as i said in the intro this is not live because i can't lug around all my green screen stuff while traveling australia sorry but i hope i was in the chat so that internet worked fine wherever we were at the time hopefully petting quokkas and rotnest and yeah i promise to talk a little bit about the changes I made for this part of the adventure, apart from cutting down the oak tree. <laughs> and one thing I changed was the creatures that uh, people engaged in were supposed to be wolf weirs who look like werewolves but aren't. And I changed them to werewolves because I thought that the players would be more familiar with those and I had miniatures and um, the stats on hand for that. And I should have made sure to check exactly whether one of the player characters would be infected with lycanthropy. But uh, actually, since this, these characters are probably not going to be played again, the original characters anyways, it's probably not that important, but that's one thing I kind of, kind of, uh, was was a little bit angry at myself after doing this. That I should have stuck to the wolf weirs because that's one level of complication that you needn't have had. Also, I kind of thought that the uh, the player characters would maybe not just engage one monster after another and alarm the whole thing, but they did. But also, they only have one sneaker character and two people wearing heavy armor, so that's probably the only thing that would have made sense. As for the the dungeon that you've now seen in action, it's kind of a Franken dungeon created from a lot of different things, handmade parts and parts I already had ready, a whisket set and um, decoration for a hamster, <laughs> a, a hamster terrarium or cage. Um, yeah, so you can you can lose use a lot of things you wouldn't expect to be part of a miniature set or a dungeon. Um, yeah, you just have to keep your eyes open and buy the weirdest stuff, and then glue it together or and or staple it together or whatever you prefer or whatever works. Um, I think the session went quite fine, apart from a few hiccups with the positioning of the characters where I was face palming at some point and also with um, the werewolf situation. But apart from that, I, I liked the 
interaction between the players. And also the slightly unusual cliffhanger at the end that can only work with the Baldur's Gate game. So, thanks again to everyone involved. Thanks for you for watching. And there's going to be one more week with a taped intro. We're going to not be on air um, after, directly after and or during the holidays, depending on which holidays you observe and how and where in the world, because that's different for everyone. So 27th of December, 28th, depending on where you're living in the world, we're not going to be on air. Or 26th. It's time zones are weird. And then we're going to be back in January. Oh, yeah, we're going to, to be off the air two weeks, I think, and we're going to back back in January when we are back in Germany and then can actually do the finale live. So one more fully taped session and then we're going to be back for the finale, which is also a short session. So we're going to have extra time for the intros and outros and we're trying to get more of the players um, and not just me talking to you to get a really nice rounded last session for you. See you then. <laughs>